giving away trade secrets. So they're sort of telltale signs that, you know, Joe Public can look out for, even if they're long and have got great hopes in a company or want to go short. Is it language or ratios? On well, the ratios are the ratios. But when people uh, keep stressing a particular ratio as protective for the bull case, one must start to wonder whether this constant repetition isn't caused by the real understanding that the position is weak. So, I don't, well, it can't be formulaic about it. One should just reserve the possibility. What about language? Oh, yes. I think the language of regulatory news service announcements is very telling. It's what they don't include, uh, which is quite as interesting, indeed much more interesting often, than what they do include. Uh, certain managements will always be extraordinarily bullish in the tone of their announcements, but the moment they drop that bullish tone in respect of a particular aspect of the business, then you know that something's gone wrong. It's what is known as textual analysis. I may say I came to textual analysis rather later in life than other people, but I think I really got uh, started to get the hang of it when I was about 40. And uh, my father, whom I think I mentioned to you is still alive, uh, he uh, lectured in philosophy and logic at Oxford, amongst other subjects, uh, moral philosophy, and he was very interesting uh, in considering the way people use language. And uh, I have had exactly the same pleasure myself in later life. I say later life, I started it late, later than other people, and I regret that, but anyway, that's how things are.